Hi there, I'm Chris and this is video one for the instructions on building the ramp mod kit for the Diagostini Millennium Falcon. Video one today we're going to cover the ramp motor, the ramp motor case. Here is the ramp motor case coming stock straight out of the issue and we're going to start <clears throat> pardon me by labeling the top and bottom micro switches I just put a simple tag in place indicating which one's which top switch for the top one which is the middle plug, well, middle wires on the plug. And the bottom switch is the one on the far left. The reason why I'm labeling these things is so that I know where the switches will go later on in the mod. So give me one second, I will pull these back. Keep in mind to take very care, good care, of the wiring. Be gentle with it. It can be fragile and you can break the wiring itself. So let's go ahead and remove the top and bottom micro switches. using a screwdriver and so keep the screws set them aside put them in a bag put them somewhere safe so you can use them later the next step is to disassemble the casing there are four screws that we will need to remove to take out so we can split the casing in half. I already have the screws taken out through the magic of video. I pull the case apart carefully, try not to drop the motor, and set that aside. I will take this wiring harness and put this also in a safe spot until the ramp casing is finished. The next step is to take the extend, extended ramp motor arm and check this hull since it's a 3D printed part ensure this is reamed thoroughly through by using a 1 16th drill bit and a pin vise. This will ensure that the the pivot pin for the linkage will go through and it won't bind up. After you drill through to make sure there's no sagging or any other extra material inside that hole, take out the stock rack and pinion arm from the motor. You may have to use a tool. Lift the gears gently upward and pull out, removing the stock extent uh, the stock rack arm. <clears throat> now replace the stock arm with the extended one. An optional thing to do is to use some white lithium grease and lube up the uh, extended arms gear, which I already have done. You can find uh, lithium, white lithium grease at uh, any local hobby store or on eBay. So let's throw in the new extended ramp motor arm. As so, it will only fit in one way. You want the eyelet down 
just the same way that the regular arm came in. And the last step for this will be to drill a hole for the arms retainer. Since this is a, a white, strong, and flexible polished material, it is quite flexible. And the purpose of the retainer is to make sure that you have a proper gear mesh consistently throughout the action of opening and closing the ramp itself. There are some mold release markings uh, inside the ramp case itself. You can locate one here which I used as an index as to where to drill or you can also uh, just take the retainer, uh, center it, uh, you put some paint on it, put it inside, it'll leave a, a paint mark there and that will be uh, your center indicator to, uh, to drill. You will want a two and a half millimeter drill bit or three millimeter drill bit. Uh, I used a two and a half millimeter drill to make the hole and I have a similar retainer. I used a metal stud with a machine screw and washer. I modeled this uh, same part and duplicated it in plastic. It'll have a, a retaining push pin that you glue in place for your model. But these are both similar. I suggest using, uh, for this, uh, CA glue for your plastic retainer. Mine's metal, so I'm using uh, some thread locking compound. A little dab will do you. I'll just add a little bit here. And I'll just drop that in place as such. Alrighty. And as I said before you guys will be getting a plastic version and the process of assembly will be a lot faster than this here. All you'll have to do is slide the plate pin in place while there you put a, a drop of CA glue inside the retainer boss itself. Now that this is done, you can see where the retainer stud goes in relation to the ramp arm, the new extended ramp arm. Do not be tempted to work this ramp arm back and forth. You can break it uh, due to the nature of the gear ratio for the uh, ramp casing itself. All right. Finally, the last step is just to reassemble everything. Uh, put the motor back in. The pinion gear on the motor should go underneath this counter gear here. Take the other casing half and snap it in place. Once you've done that, take the four screws that you have here, replace them and tighten up the whole casing. And that is it. This concludes video one of the instructions for the ramp mod kit. Thank you. Have a nice day.